Americans going to be heading to the polls in exactly three weeks. And based on a New York Times Siena poll that came out yesterday, Republicans have a huge advantage when it comes to things like inflation, the economy, gas prices, the border, all huge issues on the minds of voters on November the 8th. That's a long list. Joining us now for more is New York Congresswoman and member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Claudia Tenney. Good morning, Congresswoman. Good morning. Great to see you guys. Great to see you. So elections uh, three weeks from now. New York Times Siena poll showing Republicans have a massive edge opening up a lead among independent voters. What do you make of this? I think it's exactly what uh, what I'm seeing on the ground. I'm still going door to door throughout my massive district, which is 12 counties in upstate New York. But people are really feeling the pinch from inflation. They're also really feeling that obviously the high gas prices and crime seems to be one of the top issues that I hear about, even in upstate New York, everyone talks about New York City, but the policies that were enacted by a uh, one-party rule in Albany are affecting everyone in upstate New York. We see crime uh, it just exploding everywhere. People don't feel safe. Businesses don't feel safe. And you also have, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of, uh, of these, our, our Second Amendment rights were taken away from us by Kathy Hochul. So there's a real negativity, and you don't see very many Hochul signs in upstate New York, hmm. but there are Lee Zeldin signs everywhere, and Michael Henry, and Joe Pinion, and Paul Rodriguez. Those are our, our uh, statewide candidates, and there are more and more coming out as people see this happening. So the most recent poll uh, between Kathy Hochul and uh, Lee Zeldin has got the two candidates separated by five points. Could something historic happen in New York? Could New York have the first Republican in Albany since, I think, George Pataki? I think we're looking at the very possibility of Lee Zeldin winning for sure, and also Michael Henry, who's actually beating to Letitia James, the corrupt attorney general, in the polls. So we could see an historic win, like uh, in the likes of a Pataki. I always remember that uh, Pataki coming in was really unprecedented. But Kathy Hochul is proving that she is even worse than Andrew Cuomo as a governor. She's more authoritarian. Uh, she refuses to compromise or work with the Republicans and. And I think that's going to hurt her. And independents are definitely falling the Republican way. And by the way, in upstate New York, a lot of Democrats are moving our direction. And uh, that's going to wow. be a real sign. If we can get voters out, you're going to see an historic day on November 8th. Wow. You mentioned the DA. Let's talk about crime ahead of midterms. There's a lot of focus on crime throughout our cities. And New York City Mayor Eric Adams has some interesting words. Take a listen. Fighting crime, fighting inequality, fighting rats uh, is something that we are focus on as we continue to make this city a livable city. Everyone that knows me, they know one thing. I hate rats. Uh, <laughs> Congresswoman, does he mean actual rats? <laughs> Four-legged rodents? <laughs> I think he does. Yes. Congresswoman, somebody yeah, was shot uh, outside. Is, uh... Yeah, somebody was shot outside my hotel right near 3rd Ave a couple of months ago. I think people are more concerned with the crime than with the rodents, although they are big. Yeah, well, come to D.C. The rats are even bigger. I saw one going across the street one day. I thought it was a cat. It's so big. But uh, anyway, yeah, no, I mean, this is the crime really is a serious issue. The police are seeing uh, really unprecedented numbers. The other problem, the police, after this con continued uh, fight against the police, the defund, demoralize the police, a lot the police departments, and I've been on a number of uh, ride arounds with police officers, even in rural upstate New York. The problem retaining police officers and recruiting is, a, is going to be a huge issue. It's continuing to be a problem to keep our community safe. And I think that's going to be a huge factor as people see that even just, you know, these without cash bail, without, you know, and prioritizing criminals, what you see is they're taking more and more risks. They're doing more and more dangerous crimes. And so people really feel at risk. Storefronts. I, I was with a woman uh, about four or five days ago. She's a small business owner with a right. retail operation. She's been burglarized. Uh, she feels unsafe. She feels that Kathy Hochul is hurting her in terms of the economy as, and Joe Biden. They're very unpopular. And I, I got to be honest with you, that's why you don't see any Kathy Hochul signs anywhere in upstate yeah. New York, because you don't want to be seen with her. Congresswoman, quick one, about 15 seconds. Do you expect any more October surprises? Because three weeks, let's be honest, three weeks is a lifetime when it comes to politics. Well, the Democrats are continuing to be paralyzed with their same issues. You know, they just keep attacking the Republicans on abortion issue. We have late-term abortion in New York. Uh, abortion rights have not been affected in New York. Uh, and they keep attacking Lee Zeldin. I think the October surprise is going to be see, see uh, Lee Zeldin and others emerging up to a tie and even a lead as we, as we narrow down to November wow. 8th. That would be something. We're keeping an eye on it. We know you are, too, Congresswoman. Great to see you.
Thank you so much. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to don't think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.